Welcome to King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowlers. To my left, last week defeating the team of Holton Bradford, the team of Blaze and Burdett. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and to my right, no strangers to King of the Palace, throw, uh, number three seed, roll off score of 796, Hal Bedell and Monaghan. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be back. Uh, what are your thoughts on bowling uh, against these guys after last week? Can't, can't wait. Cannot wait to see the Titans of Titans go at each other. Ooh, a little smack talking. I like this. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, come on. Give me something. Something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and what are your thoughts about bowling these guys? Come on. Come on. Uh, it. I'm in agreement. I think it's going to be a challenging match for both teams. And, you know, fire away, pin like Riley said, and let's fire away. Give me something, Riley. Come on. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just going to come down to who hits the 10s, who gets the spares. So whoever, whoever gets momentum gets going. No smack talking? Nah. <laughs> Don't need a smack talk. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to both teams. I'll see one team in the 11th box. Welcome, everyone, to the King of the Palace. You are watching match number two between Riley Burdett and Johnny Blaze versus Chris Monahan and Aaron Habedell. That's a mouthful. Chris Monahan opening up. Found the head pin, leaves a split. Last week, we watched Burdett and Blaze defeat the number five seed in Holt. And. Bradford only by a margin of four pins. It was a pretty close match. Came, down, came down the last two boxes, there, Dennis. There was a, actually a scoring error, and I thought they lost. So they were shocked oh. when I came over and said, no, you guys actually won. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why it's fast, quicker than a hiccup. Yep. Well, that's you know, you get Got to be on top of everything. I Absolutely. Shout, I shout out and thanks to scorekeeper Casey McCool, who wants to give a shout out to his mother, which is perfectly fine. Want to give a sh quick shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. He, they have been a great supporter of the King of the Palace. Oh. And Monahan opens oh. up. Oh, I thought that thing was going to drop. It was hit, but it didn't go. Leaves just a five pin. Riley also want to give a shout out to our other sponsor and proud supporter of the King of the Palace. Go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my great friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, 10 pin bowling. Um, and I also found out that he actually does, uh, you know, different kinds of quirky things. Um, when, Kmart, when Kmart closed, he uh, did uh, uh, a video on the store closing and stuff like that. But the funniest one, he was just telling me a little while ago, he did one on the Toys R Us store closing. Oh, really? And the lady, the, the manager freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Kmart in Sargus is closing right now. I yeah. just saw the signs up there. So he might so, want to go down there and do that. So he got so he got shut down. Terrible. Shut the camera off. Go away. Uh, uh. George, Mr. Innocence. <laughs> Ooh, way oh, off oh, to the right. Oh, that's oh, break oh, out oh, of it, oh, got five Dude, the ball of the ocean. Got, still got five. Uh, all right, Chris Monahan has been bowling for 26 years. His average is a 104. His high single is a 178. His high trip is a 402. Oh, Sorry nice for talking shot. so fast, but this stuff is quicker than a hiccup. Oh, it's going. Riley Burdett comes out of Spencer Mass. He's been bowling for four years. His average is a 107. His high single is a 172. His high trip is a 403. Not bad for only bowling for seven years. Four sure years. No, just Chris Monahan just made the 310, better known as the baby split for 10 bucks. Gonna clear some dead wood here in the channel. Ball lanes must be cleared of everything before the first ball is delivered. Chris Bulls out of Mason's Bowling and Recreation in Lemonster. Right now we have the Twin City Challenge going on, the qualifiers. It's 55 for 10 strings. All, all strings must be bowled at Mason's and all the finals will be here this year. I was so gonna a little do bit it, of a change. I, I can't, I won't be able to make the finals. Well, Chris Moynihan, people, made the 310 in the previous box for 10. Baby split. Now he's got the left side oh, version, and he nails the 2-7. The back-to-back -back baby splits. Oh! oh thought right. that he had the four horsemen. Then we thought we had a four horsemen spare made. How did that 10 stay up then? Oh, yeah, I know. It did, that's, did and that's, you know what the sad thing is? is that's Riley Burdett's favorite shot, the four horsemen. I don't know why he didn't get out. Never moved. Never got touched. What's that, that, that famous phase of yours, Dennis, uh, angle of deflection? Angle of deflection. Yeah, you're absolutely correct on that one. You know, it's kind of funny. I have a bowler on Monday, on Monday Night League, um, uh, an old friend of mine, Jonas. 
And oh, look at oh, this. Oh, nice ball. Oh, both of them throwing nice balls. And he was telling me, yo, this is like his second or third year bowling, and he told, he told me he wasn't having a lot of fun because he couldn't figure out the game. Oh! oh. And oh. Milk, uh, Spatch picks up the spare. Um, and I told him, yeah. you know, because he's an awesome pool player, I'm like, look at, look at the game of bowling as pool. He says, what do you mean? I'm like, your very first ball is the break. Yeah. And cool. then after that, it's all angle of deflection. After five, Blazing Burdett at 44 working on the spear. Very, very Hal good. Hal and Monaghan on 64. Up now on alley four, Johnny Blaze. And on alley three, Aaron Habedell. Here we go, Johnny. Johnny Blaze, a.k.a. Squirrel. Lines it up, right-handed bowl. What would you call his delivery, Dennis? A wind-up. Oh, Habedell oh, opens oh, up with a bomb. I know, it's some type of a backspin. He's got a big swing. Yep. Ooh, just missed that one. Johnny Blaze has been bowling for 15 years. His average is a 114. His high single is a 186. His high trip is a 421. He bowls out of bogey lanes and lucky strike lanes, which is a duck pin house. It is. Where? Is that the one that's in Cheshire, Connecticut, or Willamette? Mansfield. Oh, Mansfield. I think it's Mansfield. No idea. <laughs> Couldn't answer you on that one. I think, I think it's in Connecticut. I th I yeah, I know so it's Connecticut. <laughs> Found the head pin in the well, wow. like one of the. Habadell Ab working on. A oh, look at this! Oh. How does that beautiful? Four Fuck aces and eights right there, baby. There it is. And Blaze picks up. Oh, he did. Wow! Wow! It didn't Little, drop. David, Little, I thought it was gonna go. I thought it was there too. Nice eight on the strike. Want to give a shout out to everybody that came out for this tournament. We had 25 teams. Uh, spectacular turnout. Um, also, thank you everybody on Facebook, local access, and on YouTube for tuning in and watching the King of the Palace. We're at 790. 90. 790. 790 for viewers. Um, we need 10 more for that 800 mark. Nice. Right, we'll get it. Um, so all of you who are watching, share it. Oh, oh, Johnny Blaze, wrecking a Oh, rack. found the one-three pocket. Help it out, seeing if he can't answer it. And he's left the uh, seven-ten seven, split with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Where you going, Dennis? Where you going, David? It's a slap. I'm going what? Some slap and tickle action. Spraying and praying. I'm going way, way far right on the front wood next to the ten. Oh, and nice pick up. Yep. Had to throw a perfect ball, and he did. Nice yeah, shot. We can't do what we do without the viewers. Um, and we cannot do what we do without the bowlers, man. Shout out to Tom Riley. Thank you for your comments. And Christus Vincent said, Dean Sullivan, Dean Sullivan is the king of the palace as Tommy Oster was to Channel 5, a fixture. <laughs> yeah, he's absolutely Oh! Correct. Okay, Johnny dropping nine, Aaron dropping six. Oh, nice pickup. Strike, and if you're tuning in, strike. Jimmy Nestor and Josh Lowell could not return as champions due to an unforeseen condition. Um, so, when the smoke oh. clears, we will have new King of the Palace Tag Team Champions. Aaron shooting the 7 for 10. No, just missed. What do we got, Dennis? First? I'll let you know when uh, oh, another box. Oh, yeah, yeah, another box, right. I, I didn't see that spear there. Okay. Sherpa Jones, thank you for your comment. Comox is pronounced Comox. Old rhyme with Go Sox, but thanks for the Oh! J Johnny Blaze is on now. Oh, beautiful. Aaron off to the left. Fills the spear with an eight. Leaves they were down 20 at one point, now it's a seven pin difference. Leaving the four seven. There he goes. Made it. Nice Finish shot. strong again. They got three in Mox in a row, they got the turkey. Last week, they got four marks in a row, Dennis. Got the badge. Oh, oh nice, nice pickup. Shot. Got to back up there for a minute, people, quickly. Four in a row is an ego, five in a row is a badge. Okay. Very close match. Seven pin difference, still. Yep. Both bowlers marked. Pressure on both bowlers to fill with an eight, nine, or a ten. Johnny Blaze fills Ooh. with six, and Aaron drops oh, a ball. Uh, eight up three, so it's going to be a four-pin difference, I believe. 
We've got some great bowling going on here. Both these guys bowl out of Masons, you know. Uh, so Blaze and Habedal have no are no strangers. Masons is a tough house. How about you make those sh tough shots? Blaze and Burdett threw a 126, and Habedal and Monaghan threw a 137. So 11 pin difference right now going into the second string. All right, so we have Chris Monaghan on alley four, and Ryan Burdett on alley three. Oh, we scratched that. Ryan Burdett on alley four, and Chris Monaghan on alley three. Alley three, a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> they, nah, they just did it on purpose. Shout out to Ryan Hogan, and Anthony Epsimo said, call it Dean of the Palace. Dean is the best. Dean of the Palace. <laughs> Watch Dean of the Palace. East Boston. East Boston. Well, the only title that Dean's alluded to is the scratch. She Sheila Robinson, thank you for putting episode numbers on each one so you're able to watch it in order. Oh, is he going to get a back door? Oh. Leaves the head pin. Both bulls with nine pin drops. Riley makes the spear. Let's see what Aaron can do. Is that like circle gets the square? Yeah. <laughs> and both bowlers. Well, they got a quick minute here, David. Dennis, got to tell you that wow. my finest, one of my fine daughters set me up for a birthday present. You know where, Dennis? Central Park Lanes in East Boston. That's where I grew up bowling. Yeah, you told me. That was quite an enjoyable day. Oh. oh nails the a little head in the head. Fire. Shout out to Chucky Vazella and the whole gang at Central Park. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was going. She broke down some side street. I'd never been in East Boston. <laughs> East Boston's oh. not by side streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a great time. Absolutely stunning. Okay, here we go. Oh, another nice mop for Chris Moynihan. And a 10 bucks for Riley Burdett. Give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru. Visit buynorthend.com or go there in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see him. my great friend George Duperides on Kettle Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, 10 Pin Bowling, uh, stores closing and just about anything else that he can get his hands on and think of to do. Um, he's a great friend and oh. we have a lot of fun. Oh, wow, here it comes. Are you Dennis. kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. wow. Chris Moynihan bowing to the bowler gods. People I don't think I've ever seen a back. I think Moynihan strike. better wipe his feet because that was just like nasty. Dennis, he had four husband right with a backdoor strike. Tumbling into wall. I don't think I've ever. Dennis, you wow. ever seen them one I, of those? I've seen that before, yeah, yeah. actually. I, I don't think I ever have. Damn. The 10 <laughs> goes into the 6, goes into the 3, goes into, into the pin. pin. Unbelievable. Sometimes it's just the way the pin rolls. Where else, David, Dennis? Where else but where? Kenneth Hill. Right oh. here on the King of the Palace, the double championship. Little Look at this. Here we go again. Don't tell me he's going to do it again, people. Are you kidding me? you got to be, be kidding me. Wow, it throws the ball in the ocean and gets an eight pin drop. Are you drop. kidding me? He, he's shaking his head. He can't believe what's Even going Johnny on. Even Johnny Blaze just turned around and looked at me and says, are you what, kidding me? What, what is going on here? Four marks in a row. The Holy team, crap. Team I don't Green think I've ever seen that. I mean, people say this place is juice, but I mean, that's just, he must put some kind of spin on the ball to get that kind of re reaction. Four marks in, they opened ridiculous. it up with four marks in a row, which is an eagle. Very, very difficult to get. Oh. And he, oh, right. Nine pin drop, leaves right. a seven pin all alone with a couple pieces of wood off to the right. Chris Moynihan shooting on the, oh, a little wide right. Here oh, we look go at again. That, look at this, what is going on? <laughs> on alley people, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I'm going to go sorry. back down there and see if there's a troll Dave, or something Dave, underneath Are you there. sure about this, David? You didn't set this up. Why, would I, why would I do that? Well, I don't know. Make the scores better. I don't know. Make more exciting. No, I can't really? say what more Really? What do you think exciting. this is? I, I've never seen back. What do you think this action? is? 10 pin bowling? Well, no. Like, come on now. Nothing will be up. That's oh, not you going to start. Oh, oh, he had a shot for the for the badge and just missed. Thank you to John Smith and Watson956 for your comments, along with Paul De Silva, watching from Fostoria, Ohio. Eight box for Chris Moynihan. Unbelievable candle pin bowling. After five, Blazing Burnett at 61 working on a spear, Halbadell and Monahan at 85. 35 pins, box to box. Halbadell and Monaghan are up. Up now on Alley 4, Aaron Habedell. He bowls on the Friday night at Mason's Tuesday Speed League at Academy. Johnny Blaze bowls out of Bowie Lanes in the Mixed League and the Lucky Strike Lane. Oh. Wow, look at this. 
The dreaded half whistle left on the mark. Aaron a little bit off right. Johnny Blaze. Oh, nice almost, on that. almost picked up the half whistle right. Aaron's favorite shot is the 6 7 10. His least favorite shot is the 10 pin. Okay. Both bowlers will a nine box. Thank you to Glenn McIntyre and Pablo LaCruz. Okay, Aaron up lane. Lane number four, box number seven. Found the head pin. And look at this mess, Dennis. Want to thank everybody in Facebook land, YouTube, and on local access for tuning in. Aaron, nice bid, just missed. Want to thank all the bowlers that came out in droves for this tournament. Um, we cannot do what we do without you. You guys have been spectacular. The support has been unbelievable. And if you're listening to my voice, oh. we want 800, 800 subscribers to YouTube by uh, the end of the season. So tell us where you're watching it, who you're sharing it with, and who you're watching it with, and where you're from, and we'll give you guys a shout out. Absolutely. Okay, what do we got, Dennis, after seven? Uh, Blaze and Burdett at 81, Albedell and Monahan at 102. Albedell and Monahan are up 32 pins box to box. Well, and my last two shout outs are Jonathan Mosbach and Drum Machine. Drum Machine said you should try to live stream the, the uh, show on YouTube instead of posting it on YouTube a month later. No, that's not the way the show works, unfortunately. We, uh, Ooh, right oh, through the heart. No, no. no. no I'm sorry, Dennis. It's aired like that uh, purposely so people will tune in every day. Oh, just missed it. Johnny Blaze shooting, I don't even want to talk about it. Really? Unless he makes cool. it. Most unfair thing in Candlepin Bowl. Not really. Well, what is? <laughs> Picking a single pin? No, no. That, that, that. You've hit your object. You've thrown it 60 feet and you get penalized for it. I know I've said it time and time again. That's the truth. Okay, two left to go, Dennis. David. String number two. Hey, oh. oh, look at this. Oh, okay, okay. This he domino doesn't. effect. This kid's got something. <laughs> Johnny Blaze. He, oh, oh, no. oh. No, there no, it is. There no. it is, baby. No, no, no. I cannot. This is this, this is Steve Bronchuk's heart attack snack. Dennis, the man got two spread eagles in a row. He did. That means On the same lane, pinpoint he left no wood. How can he throw the ball twice in a row at the same way? He hit the head pin. I cannot believe... Oh, he may make it though. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, I'm sorry, Johnny Blaze. I, my, I, 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 no, no, I gotta sit down. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. I gotta. Sit. I'm I rooting for Johnny Blaze to do it a third time. Oh, come on, come on, David. I thought being the man you are. I want to break, break out the paddles and watch Steve flop like a fish. <laughs> I can't believe what I've just seen. Two in a row. I've hit four in a row, so that two is. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> what, is, what are they doing, people? I'm sorry, people. I got to hold on to the mic. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Three out of four boxes. Spread eagles by the two boulders. And David, my good friend David Matala and my good friend Dennis Lazo tell me it happens. Why does it happen? You know, what's kind, happen? You know what's kind of funny is, is Chris Monaghan was on Alley 3 and throwing the ball in the ocean and getting a hell of a lot of breaks. Yeah. Oh, these guys are, and these guys are on the head pins, and, and they're, they're punching out. Well, so it's, it's like... Stuff rolling in the ocean. Yeah, but you know, it's it's, it's kind of like it's the, the tale of two alleys. It's like, it's weird. Yeah. You know, you can't tell me the alleys are juiced. You know, when you see Chris Monaghan throw backdoor strikes or whatever it may be, and then you see them, you know, Throw the ball down the middle of the plate and punch out. Now he buries it again. Look at this. Oh, he, loves, he leaves the seven and the eight. Dennis, what do we got? Blaze and Burdett with a 118 for a two-string total of 244. Halbadell and Monaghan at two, uh, 134 for a two-string total of 271. So 27 pin lead going into the last string for Halbadell and Monaghan. Wow. All right, we have Chris Monahan on alley four and Ryan Burdett on alley three. Chris Monahan uh, bowls on the Massachusetts. Uh, his favorite shot is the five, five, ten, five, seven, no wood, and his least favorite shot, anything that does not go. Yep. 
That's both. Not, that's not including the third string handicap. Okay, Chris Moynihan up on lane number four, looking at a, a mess. David, is this a form of uh, yep. Yep. a... Yep, thank you for the fans. I already David know what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah. Form of aces and eights. Just want to make sure David's the expert on that. Oh, oh, nice shot. Nice pickup. Right. Nice shot. Not as easy as it looks, people, a two-pin of spare. No, nothing is. And oh, wow. Oh, look at Dennis. Wow. He had two pins up behind a piece of dead wood. Not only does the dead wood... I have no idea where it went. Give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Monster Subaru. Visit buynorthend.com or go to there in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see him. my great friend George Duperides on Kenlin Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, Ten Pin Bowling. Watch him get thrown out of stores, <laughs> uh, chased by little kids, whatever. You know, I love that guy. I've known him nice for a long time. Back to back spears. Made two, two pinners in a row. Very, very difficult. He, he made them. Okay. We're getting close. They needed this because they were down yeah. big going in. 20, what, 27 going They're, in, right? Well, 30 technically with the, yeah. thir the handicap in the third string. Yep. Open up it back to back. And right now it's right. Uh, 15 pins, I think, without oh. the handicap. Pin. Wide left wow. and drops nine. Drop the ball in the ocean again. Nine pin drop. Oh, wow. 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 Look at that. That's ugly. What did he take out then? It's the three six? He did. But the five pin looks like it may go. Not. He took out the three six, people. Yep. Tell me, how does that happen? I have no idea. Uh, Spare for Halbadell and Monaghan. Oh, oh punch now out. Now punch it. Now it. Oh, frustration, people. But it's still the greatest game in the world. I don't care what anybody, for family entertainment. Doesn't matter how tall you are, David, Dennis, how short, how much you weigh, how fast you throw the ball. Doesn't matter. True. Doesn't matter what your age is. You got to do what, Dennis? Throw the ball and hit the damn, excuse me, people. Hit wow. Dime, hit the dime, dime this, head. This is, this is a family <laughs> show there, Bronx. I know. I apologize. I let it slip. Uh, okay, here wow. we go. Oh, I think after all this time and all that, all the spread eagles that we've seen, you drop a the damn word. Like, wow. really? Wow. I apologize, people out there in the audience. Okay. Oh, boy, this, wow, is, this is tough. this is an ugly, ugly, yeah. ugly yeah, I, No matter where he throws, he's got to go wide right. The wood on the right. I, you you, you can't ca touch the wood in the middle in front of the fight. No matter where you hit it, you're yeah, not going to get gonna it. you're going to have to hit the tip. Just the even tip. that, even or, that's Or he could work. go for the uh, one that's sticking out near the oh, gutter. Oh, he's discussing it just with the tip. His, Yeah, just the tip. Yeah, he's discussing it with uh, Aaron. I don't know, Chris. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I would have gone to the other wood. Yeah, you'd have to hit the tip yeah. on either one of them. Yeah. Oh, geez, I thought Riley had a shot at that too. Well, they weren't too pleasant results on that. When Chris and is again, at bowling, he's uh. He's smiling. At the, excuse me, David. He's smiling. He works at Apple Metal Hardware, True Value, and he also enjoys uh. Nice shot. Nice at Bowling and watching hockey and playing with his kid. He wants to give a shout out to Leah, to what? To Leah and my son Gregory and his parents. Okay, lining up on lane number five, four. Excuse me. Chris Moynihan, the three-step approach, drops it. Oh, found the head pin and look oh, at this. Leaves the seven ten. Oh, and there's a ball. Riley and Riley. Better late right than in. never. Found the. Strike ball. They needed Very much that. needed. Now, where are you going on this one? He just had a bizarre. Oh, this is spraying the brand. I, I'd probably go to, like, where the two pin would be. Yeah, but this is uh, I have no idea, people. There. Yeah, four pieces. He's shooting the seven this, pin. This is a power ball. This is the rare old split bowl. Oh, it nothing. gets nothing. How does that happen? Jersey barriers up there. D but, David, he had four pieces of wood in front of two pins up. Oh, and it's, nothing it, happens. Nope. No, because they're all locked in together. Yeah. Where else, David, but where? What sport, David? Candle pin bowling. After five, Blazing Burdett at 58 working on a strike. Halbadell and Monaghan at 54. Pins down. Halbadell and Monaghan are up 23 pins going into the last five boxes. All right, we have Johnny Blaze on alley four and Aaron Halbadell on alley three. Candle pin bowling, people. Let's Here it what, is. Let's see what Blaze can do. For the tag team champions of the king of the palace. Johnny Blades finds the head pin, a weak head pin hit, but he's leaves a two pinner. And Aaron 
When Blaze oh, cool. is not working, he's a material handler. He also spends like spending time with his family and watching his favorite sports teams and duck pin bowling. And Picks it up. Spare, he that. Nice shot. Spare on the strike. That, that Closing ten pin, the gap. That ten pin is Aaron's least favorite shot. Oh, didn't know that. Moves it on the bios. Uh, no, it's on the back of his shirt. Oh. I hate the ten pin. <laughs> 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 oh, what a thing. What a shot at the. At Steve on that one. All right. Okay. <laughs> God. He's I wonder going if he's going to play the wood. Oh, oh he he picks it up. it up. Very difficult spear. Probably the hardest spear in Canop and Bowling. Right handed bullet making the 10 pin with no wood. This is going to get need, interesting. Blaze needs to really step it up. Yeah. This is getting interesting. Needs to eight, nine, a tenth. Needs the big fill. Boom. Found the head pin. He gets nine, maybe ten. Wow. Maybe almost. Habedal working yeah. on his. Oh. Ooh. Two fill. You don't want that. No. Six pin difference right now. Wow. Habedal and Monahan are up six. Wow, they came, came back. back. He needs this. Plays. Wow, right beautiful okay. pitch. They got a turkey. Three box, marks on the road. Habedal. Wow. Oh. Punch out. You know what you know, Blaze just did? Put his. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he just stepped on his neck. Thank you. Ooh. Wow. This is getting interesting. Oh, it's going to come down Three to the wire right again. Yeah, it's going to come in, coming down to the end. Three pins minus to fill. See this is Caleb they can take Blaze and Burdett could take the lead right now. Yeah. Both bullers yep. anxious. Both bullers we'll warning. We'll see the pressure on both of these guys right now. Well, who Anything wants it more? Anything over three. Takes the who lead. Who wants to advance? Oh, oh gets three. Another uh, three pin. Draw. Even match. Oh, oh not anymore. Devil. Not anymore, Dave. Not anymore, Dennis. Not a hammer. Oh, Johnny Blaze. Ooh, right through oh. the hoop with no grease. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. He's, had, he's working on the turkey. Three marks in a row. Wanted a good fill and a good shot at that four in a row and just didn't right. deliver. It's all right. Set it and forget it. Yeah. As Dennis always We says saw Johnny Blaze throw a double earlier this week. Ouch. That hurt. Yeah. So but. now Halberdell and Monaghan are up four plus whatever they get in the strike. Yeah. This is coming down to the final two, Dennis. David, people in viewing land, to all our friends on Access TVs, here we go. This is for the king of the palace. Win and move on, loser, go home. Here's the first ball delivery, found the head. Oh, no. Wow. Are you kidding me? You wow. kidding people, he has just wow. left. The oh, five, it now. Wow. Leaves the, leaves the five. He has just left people to 5-7-10. That might be just a dagger. Yeah. And Candlepin Bowling, better known as the Lily. Finished up. How does that happen, Dennis? Done by the Lily. He put the ball in the one-three pocket, needing a good mark or a strike. Uh, a good that mark looked like shooter. a strike all the way down. And yep. he leaves the 5 7 10, but no wood. Amazing. Oh, and Hammond out. Oh! oh. <laughs> Thank God that's Aaron. on tape. Aaron wow, Hammond. that was He a, just smiled up to the bowling ball. That was just a junk spare. Look at that right replay. There. Unbelievable, people. Where else but can't open bowling uh, This is Blaze's last shot. He's got to get a couple triple. bombs. They're down yeah, 15. Needs Blaze at least is double. going down. Needs at least a double. Blaze has got to look up to the bowling gods. Buries the ball in the 1-3 pocket and leaves the 5 7 10. The Lily. That's uh, it. Yeah, that's it. Can't win now. Aaron, the team of... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, well, if he marks... It's a no, big ball right no, here. No. Well, he technically, need, he needs a double. Yeah, he needs a double strike. Mathematically, they're still in it. Not now. Not now. Not now now it's out. over. Now it's over. Well, Aaron Habedell and Chris Monahan <coughs> will be moving forward oh. next week, facing the number two seed in Nick Leach. And Dean Sullivan, no stranger to the King of the Palace, former tag team champions. Want to thank everybody on Local Access, Facebook, and on YouTube for tuning in. All the bowlers that came out, FATV. We cannot do what we do without any of you. Our sponsors are Mazda Subaru. Watch me suck at bowling. You guys are all been great. Thank you very much. Dennis, give us the rundown. Third string, Blaze and Burdett with a 125 for a three string total of 369. Halberdell and Monaghan with a 113 for a three string total of 384. Blaze and Burdett had 11 spears and two strikes. Halberdell and Monaghan had 11 spears and four strikes. 
Oh. So the strikes told the difference. Great, great bowling the, by everybody, man. What a great uh, match. Thank you very much for, for watching King of the Palace, the tag team division. Now, let's get to Dennis in the 11th box and meet our winners. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nelson staying here with this week's winners, the team of Halbadell and Monaghan. Great bowling, guys. Uh, it was down to even to the last two boxes through a clutch strike, and then you just took them to the woodshed after that. 369 to 384. What are your thoughts? Uh, it was a tough match against John Blaze and his partner, you know, and I knew we needed some marks, you know, because Blaze made three spears in a row, and it was, it was getting close, and my partner here came through with a couple marks and helped us help get the win. It was a good match. Um, got some breaks. Goes. Show up at sweet. Short but sweet. <laughs> you guys, you get, seemed like you guys were getting a lot of breaks on Alley 3. Uh, like, I don't know if you throw a hook ball or something, but you were just getting, you know, if you, even if you missed the head pin, you were getting great breaks and getting the spares and strikes, and you took advantage of it. That's what you have to do in this game. Yes. I, uh, I knew a couple times when I was throwing the ball, I had to put, put more spin in the ball in order to get it to break in the pocket I wanted, but it worked out. So, you know, it's the best way I can describe to get it going. So. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again, but it's not getting any easier because... <laughs> The number two seeds with a roll-off score of 809 are next week. And you can laugh all you want because you know what's coming. <laughs> Nick Leach and uh, Dean of the Palace, Dean Sullivan. <laughs> Dean, of the Dean of the Palace. He's a fixture around here. Someone, someone made a comment on YouTube earlier that Dean, Dean Sullivan, the king of the palace, is like Tommy Oster was at Channel 5, just a fixture around here every single week. I take that as a compliment if I were you. We got a compliment. We could get him a dress. That's true. Oh, a little smack talking. I like it. I can't wait till next week. So we'll see everyone next week for some more smack talking.